The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. Is always now. And if God wanted you to operate by time, then he never would have given you faith. Because faith is always now. It has no time. It has no time. It's a Syrophoenician woman. You remember? She came to Jesus in Mark chapter 7 and verse 25. And for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came and fell down at his feet. And the, young, and the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. Now remember, the gospel was for the who first? The Jew first, by nation. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Now understand, Jesus knows it's not her time. He knows it's not her time. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled, for it is not meat, or it is not the time to take the children's bread and to cast it before the dogs, I says. And she answered and said unto him, yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said to her, for this saying, go thy way. What? The devil is gone out of your daughter. And look what happened next. And when she was come into her house, she found the devil gone out of her daughter and her daughter laid upon a bed. Amen. Now, wait a minute. It wasn't her what? Time. So when the doctor tells you it'll take six months for this healing, that's not your portion. Come on, radical faith. That, that's not your portion. That's not your portion. Now, we just talk about time. We can talk about anything. But I'm only saying here that something's happened in the church where all of a sudden we've been living kind of like the world. And this, this, is, this is not good. Look what he said in Romans chapter 8 and verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the who? Sons of God. Mature offspring of God. The Bible said you are God's offspring. So the, the, the earth is waiting for you to show up. Verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails in pain together until now. See, they're trying to fix things without faith. They don't have it. The only ones that have faith is the church. And it takes faith to launch the blessing. It takes faith to launch the blessing. And the blessing is the name God gave to the power he used to create everything. And he put it on us. Why? Because we're supposed to be fixing stuff. And because the church has been laxed in its performance, then more laws have to be made. But I'm saying that now we're about to come out. Because somebody's teaching radical faith. I'm just saying, folks, it's, it's going to take courage to speak up. It's going to take courage to speak up. Because that enemy will try things and he'll try to confront you in a way that you or me would not be 
speak what God said. All right. All right. Try to make it That's good. so that we either don't want the ridicule. Right. Right. Come on now. Here comes Jesus. And he's, he's now walking with Jairus. And here comes a woman out of the house who had been to all the physicians. She was nothing better, but rather grew worse. But she heard about this radical faith. And she said, if I can but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And she kept saying it. And I'm sure she said it in the house around somebody. See, she was decreeing a thing. Say amen to this. And as she was doing it, she was building up her faith. And as she was doing that, now when her faith was full, it's time to act on the word of God. Now understand, she could have been stoned because the law says, come on, that anybody coming out of the house with the issue of blood had to be stoned. But she was operating by grace. She was operating in this zone that was above time. Yes. 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 Come on now. Yes. Come on now. So what she did is she pressed through oh, glory to God. the whole group of people yes. that were busy pushing on it. Yes, yes. Now you follow me. Yes. <laughs> and the Bible says she was a certain woman. Yes. That means they knew who she was. And he was walking with the ruler of the synagogue who could have ordered the stoning. But he didn't. See, when you're walking by faith, God holds back everything. When, you, when you're walking by faith, he'll keep doors open. When you're walking by faith, see, because you don't increase by, by time, you increase by truth. So what happened? She touched his garment, virtue flow. Now, when you believe something, you release virtue that provokes a performance of what was promised. And by being a seed of Abraham, she was supposed to be healed. So she released it. But I'm just wanting you to take note of the boldness that she had. And he said, daughter, thy faith had made you whole. Yeah. Notice the doctors couldn't help her. Right. That's right. Amen. Right. But what could help her? Faith. 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 Whose faith? Her. Her faith. So the enemy doesn't want you to walk in faith because anything that he's messing up, you can clean it up. Right. Anything that you think that is yours through the covenant promise that God made to Abraham, all those promises belong to you. Amen. Yes. Yeah. And you don't have to wait for them. You can get them when? Now. Now, now, she didn't have to go to treatments. It's this business, I'm telling you now, we've gotten too close to that world. And because of it, we've had no influence over it. So they said, you just like me. You got the same marriage problems I got. You got the same kid problems I got. You got, hey, they ought to be looking at us differently. Yes, come on now. Amen. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's 
You going to the same bank I'm going to to borrow money? Hey, should be different. And I'm just saying, maybe in the pulpit, we need to preach more radical faith. And I told you why a lot of congregations don't have any faith, because it's not being preached. We're, we're still preaching, Mary had a little lamb. I mean, you can make people shout on, on just about anything. Really? I bet you I could pick out a song from the Rhythm and Blues chart, a top 10 song, and I can, I can mix it in a sermon and people, ow! <laughs> and it ain't not, not a truth in it. Right, come on now. Free, free. No mention songs. You got to watch those songs that are sung because that's a good way the enemy takes the music yeah. and puts things in your system. I'm just saying this for all of us because we need to be more vigilant. The Bible says, take heed what you hear. So here is the lady, teased with Jesus. Now she's confessing, giving her testimony. And while she's doing all of that, the runners come from J.R.'s house and don't even come down here. Your daughter's dead. Graveyard dead. Now who do you think did that? I'll give you three guesses. The first two don't count. The devil did it. The devil did it because he's still trying Jesus. And he'll try your faith. What he did, Jesus said, whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't, don't do nothing. Only believe. In other words, don't even make no more confessions because your confession is now going to come out of unbelief. Don't even say nothing else. Let's ride off the last confession you made when you, when you confessed it. Don't even say nothing else. And so what did, what did he do? Got to the house, announced. Your daughter is not dead. She just sleep. That is where a lot of people won't go. She's not dead. She just sleep. And they stop crying and start laughing at Jesus. Now, who do you think that was? The devil. The devil. All right, finally, you, you're finally getting it. I'm saying he's the only one that does not want you to walk by faith. Because he knows that with faith... You can reverse every curse to the degree that you can make it so he no trace that the enemy has ever been at your life. So what am I saying? He went in there and they laughed at him. But do you think that backed Jesus down? Didn't have no effect on him at all. He wasn't announcing that so much so that, you know, he, he could get that. He, he was trying to impress them. He announced it because he was putting spiritual law in the motion. God put you here to change some stuff. Faith in the blessing releases the blessing. And the world is busy making more laws and creating a culture that is against God. And you and I are responsible for bringing back righteous living. Say amen to this. When you look at Mark eleven twenty three, verily I say unto you that whosoever shall what? Say unto this what? Mountain. Be thou what? Removed. Be thou cast into the sea. 
and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall what? Believe that those things that he says shall what? Come to pass. What is he going to have? He's going to have whatsoever he says. Now, I want you to see this. I stood up here by faith and said, we are turning jails into boarding schools. Now, I realize that I'm a lot bigger on the inside than I am on the outside. I realize that God has sent me here to decree his will into existence. Come on now. I'm talking to you. The Bible says death and life are where? The power of the tongue. The Bible says over in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 37, he said, by thy words thou shalt be what? Justified. Come on. By thy words thou shalt be condemned. Over in James, James and James chapter 3 and verse 1, he says, my brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we should receive the greater condemnation. Watch this. For in, in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a what kind of man? Perfect man. And what does he do? He's able to bridle his whole body. That if you know how to use words, you can tell your body what to do. See, we don't, we, we, we don't think too much of words. I'm, I'm telling you now, you, you hear what I'm saying. For some reason, words, I was listen, looking at the prophecy that Cindy Jacobs made here in this auditorium when she came here. She's a prophet. I was listening at what she was saying about millionaires and billionaires and that God wants black people on Forbes magazine. He, he, I'm, I'm, she said, I'm not saying this. She's saying this. And then she said, thus saith the Lord, meaning that she didn't say it. She, she didn't say that. She was a mouthpiece used by God to bring justice to Chicago. Now, I'm, I'm saying something. Mark 11.23 is the same as Job 22.28. And he said in Job 22.28, thou shalt also decree a thing. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Yes. And it shall be established. Yes. I'm just saying words. Yes. The just shall live how? Faith. faith is going to be the way you get things done. Yes. Oh and faith is released by your words. Yes. If you believe yes. what you say, yes. It's going to come to pass. You will. Come on, come on, say it. You will have what you say. Right now, I can guarantee you they're witches. And you know what they do? They're busy casting spells. So God gave you Isaiah 54, 17. Come on. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Watch this. And every tongue, because most of Satan's work is done with words. Now, I'm, I'm saying 
saying something to you now. I'm saying that we're sitting up here just as carnal as a goat. And I decree you are no longer carnal. You're going to be spiritual from now on. And, and listen, I can tell when they're coming. I can tell because I'm sensitive to it. Right, right. Right. But I see the way he operates, and if you don't want to believe the word of God, just believe how he operates. Right. 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 Yeah. And take your lead from that right. and stand up in your house and say something. When David slayed Goliath, yes, he declared. four to five times what he was going to do with him before he did it. I'm just saying I'm speaking words. And when I speak it, I'm expecting it to happen. Why? Because I'm a king. I'm seated there with him. Come on, in heavenly places. The daughter is not dead, she just sleep. I don't even think about what them people are thinking about me. And when the doctor says something mean over your life, you better start saying something. And I'm telling you, that's the way we're going in these last days because God has got a purpose for your life and Satan has messed this thing up and God needs the sons of God to start decreeing a thing so he can fix it. Come on now. Say it. Say it. You, you, you do something that your flesh is not comfortable with. Take that pocketbook or that wallet or billfold, whatever, put it on that kitchen table. Take all them bills. Put them on there. I did it. Bills, I'm talking to you. Yes, sir. Shut up. So they'll try to talk back. Say radical. faith. You got to do something that your flesh is getting a little uncomfortable with because Satan is trying to use it to hold you. Trying to use logical thinking to make you not say what God said. But you're a lot bigger on the inside than you are on the outside. Not one ounce of faith comes out of your mind. It all comes out of your spirit. 
You don't need to feel it. Just say it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Look at Psalm 91 and verse 5. Let's start right there, please. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Now, notice what he's talking about. That arrow that flies. That's those spells being sent out. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at wet noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side. Come on. 10,000 at your right hand. Come on. But it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold to see what? The reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the most high, your habitation, there shall, there shall, there shall befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. Why? Because he's given his angels charge over you. And what are they going to do? Keep you in all your ways. Look what they're going to do. They're going to bear you up in their hand, lest you even dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion, come on, the adder, the young lion, and dragon. What are you going to do? Trample them under feet. Because he set his love upon you, therefore will he deliver you. He will set you on high. Well, I trust that you are blessed by this dynamic message. Now, here's a simple point you want to remember. Not one ounce of faith comes out of your head, <laughs> out of your mind. Not one ounce. Faith comes out of your spirit. Now, that means you don't have to feel it. A lot of people, they're in this area where they have to feel something. No, 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 no. With faith, you don't need to feel it. You just say it and believe you've received it. Isn't that powerful? With faith, you don't have to feel it. Just say it and believe it's done. Glory to God. Well, here's a product offering we have for you. It's called Radical Faith. <laughs> Order it, download it, whatever you want to do. Get it right away. You're in a time now. We need radical faith. Do you agree? Amen. Well, let me tell you, this is the teaching for you. It is powerful. It's called radical faith. Well, until next time, this is Bill Winston saying, we love you.